Hi guys, today we are going to discuss about software testing. Firstly, software testing is the process used to identify the correctness, completeness and quality of developed computer software. It is the process of executing a program or application under positive and negative conditions. It is done manually or automated means. It checks for the specification, functionality and performance. The specification of computer or the device means that how much load the computer or the how much task the computer can perform. The functionality means what all process or uh, directions or information the computer does or the embedded system does. The performance means how much task or information get the computer or the device can process. Now let's talk about the objectives of the software testing. There are many objectives. First of all, it is used to uncover many errors as possible. It is also used to demonstrate a given product or matching its requirement specification. It can be used to validate the quality of a software testing using the minimum cost and efforts. The software testing can help us to generate high quality test cases, perform cafeteria tests and issue correct and helpful problem reports. That is, it can help us to identify the errors in a soft system and a good system testing can help us to create a software which is effective and at a minimum cost. The some problems faced during software testing are errors, bugs, fault and failure. Error. What is error? It is a human action that produces the incorrect result that produces a fault. The bug is the presence of an error at all times of execution of the software. Fault. State of software caused by an error. Failure. The deviation of software from its expected result. It is an event. Which means that error. It is a human action that can be determined as when the programmer is coding a program or is creating a software, he can create many errors. The bug, the pr uh, presence of an error at the time of execution of software. The fault is a state where the software is not ready to be executed or it cannot be run in a system or devices. The failure, it is a deviation from software that is deviation of software from its expected result, which means that a company creating a software and the software does not meet the requirements that it was meant to be, it is a failure. Rather than error, bug and fault, failure is an event. And next we are going to discuss about SDLC or Software Development Lifecycle. It is the oldest and most widely used model in the field of software development. It is a model that is used worldwide to develop a software. A framework that describes the activities performed at each stage of a software development project. The SDLC is necessary to ensure the quality of the software. It has logical steps taken to develop a software product. Here we can see the classical waterfall model of the SDLC. It has feasibility study, requirements and analysis and specification, design, coding and testing, integration and system testing, and maintenance. It is a framework that helps us to create a software. It uh, provides uh, necessary steps to improve the quality of the software. Next. We are going to discuss about testing life cycle of the software testing. It start with project initialization and then system study, test plan, design test cases, execute test cases, report defects, regression test, analysis and summary reports. At start, the project is initialized and it is sent to system study in which the workers study about the software and what all needed to create the software and how much task it is needed to create the software. Then a test plan is created. A test plan is a schematic approach to test a system, that is software. The plan typically contains detailed under understanding of what the eventual testing for flow will be. And according to this, this test plan, design test cases are produced. This test case have specific procedure of testing a particular requirement. It will include identification of specific requirements tested, test case success or failure criteria, specific steps to create, execute, test, and test data. The next step is verification and validation. Verification. The software should confirm to its specification. The question is, are we building the product right? The next is validation. The software should do what the user really requires. The question is, are we building the right product? Next, let's discuss about testing methodologies. There are two types of testing, 
black box texting and white box texting black box texting no knowledge of internal program design or code required tests are based on requirements and functionality which means that the software or the programmer does not need to know about the design or code it just you need to support the software and the output the white box texting the knowledge of the internal program design and code is required the tests are based on coverage of code statement branches paths and conditions in the case of black box testing the programmer does not need to know about the design or code while in the case of white box the programmer need to know the internal program design and the codes the image shows the block diagram of a black box testing it needs the requirements and events and an input is given and output is produced while in the case of white box testing when an input is given the common code derives test data and the test data is given again to the common code it is checked for multiple times and the test output are produced now there are three testing levels unit testing integration testing and system testing unit testing tests each module individually it follows a white box testing and it is done by the developers as it is done by white box testing the code and the program is checked for the testing now the next step is integration testing once all the modules have been unit tested integration testing is performed it is a systematic testing it produces test to identify errors associated with the interfacing there are different types of integration testing the first one is big bang integration testing next is top down integration testing bottom up integration testing and mixed integration testing the next step is system testing the system as a whole is tested to uncover requirement errors it verifies all the system elements work properly and overall system function and performance have been achieved the types of system testing are alpha testing beta testing acceptance testing and performance testing the alpha testing is carried out by the test team within the developing organization and the beta testing is performed by a selected group of friendly customers and the acceptance testing is performed by customers to determine whether to accept or reject the delivery of system the performance testing is carried out to check whether the system meets the non functional requirements and identifies in the srs documents next is the type of performance testing there are many types of performance testing stress testing volume testing configuration testing compatibility testing regression testing recovery testing maintenance testing documentation and usability testing now let's just conclude in order to be cost effective testing must be concentrated on areas where it will be most effective testing should be planned such that when testing is stopped for whatever reason the most effective testing in the time allotted has already been done the absence of an organizational testing policy may result in too much effort and money will be spent on testing attempting to achieve a level of quality is that impossible or unnecessary